The day of love is here, but instead of whispering a sweet nothing to a special someone, a growing number of people are choosing self-love over affection with a romantic partner. Chris Demio takes a closer look at the rise in Americans choosing to be single. While Valentine's Day usually involves showing affection to your love interest or romantic partner, the latest data from the Census Bureau shows a growing number of people are actually embracing the single life. Nearly half of American adults are unmarried. 28% of U.S. adults live alone. That's actually the most common household, having jumped ahead of the nuclear family. This trend is especially gaining traction among younger generations. Pew Center reveals, their studies reveal, that 25% of millennials will never marry. Peter McGraw of the University of Colorado Boulder has been studying this rise, but says not all singles are the same. The first type I call someday singles. These are people who are looking for their person. They're looking for the one. Dating culture is fraught. And these people in many ways are sort of waiting kind of hopelessly. But according to McGraw, more people are falling under the no way singles category. These are people who are not looking for dating or romance, whether it be for now or forever. Pew Center finds that half of American singles are not looking for casual dates or a romantic relationship at the moment. Meanwhile, McGraw says feeling secure with yourself and owning your independence could help strengthen the connections you have with friends and family. It actually makes the relationships that you have a lot healthier, in a sense, because you're not relying on this person to fill a void in your life. Chris DeMeo, Fox News.